Hello guys, welcome to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Seven Engineering updates. Today we are going to show you the difference between the one-way slip and the two-way slip. Here I will write the one-way slip and here I will show, uh, write down the differences between uh, the one-way and two-way slip. Right? So the first and main difference between these two slip is the uh, ratio of the longer span to the shorter span. This is the first and the main difference that we can differentiate between the one way and two way slip is that the uh, ratio of the longer span to the shorter span in case of the one way slip should always be greater or equal to two. It means uh, the taking an example here of uh, any slip, for example, this is a slip. Now in this case, uh, this is a slip and it's a longer span here. This is a longer span of the slip and this is the shorter span of the slip because it's shortened length, shorter span. So when the longer span of the slip may be taken an example of 10 meter and here the shorter span may be here in the 4 meter. So dividing the longer span by the shorter span, uh, the longer span is 10 meter and the shorter span is 4 meter, so meter meter will be cancelled. Dividing it, we get the 2.5. It is mean that it's greater than 2, right? It's greater than 2. So this uh, type of slave now, it will be categorized as in the one-way slave. While in case of the two-way slave, the longer span ratio, the longer span ratio or the shorter span ratio, short span ratio should be always be less than 2. It means similarly taking this is an example of the slab, but here the length longer span of the slab, uh, let's suppose it, it's 5 meter and the shorter span is also a, uh, equal to almost 5 meter. So dividing the longer span ratio 5 meter by 5 meter, what we get? We get equal to 1, which is less than 2. So this slab is now categorized as the two-way slab because the longer span ratio and the shorter span ratio by dividing these two ratios we get the value which is less than 2 so now we can say that this is now is a two-way slave this was the first difference and the main difference between these two slaves the second uh, difference is the about the uh, their, uh, their uh, main reinforcement how to provide the main reinforcement in both type of slaves The second difference is the main reinforcement. This, this is an example of slip. Considering the one-way slip, in one-way slip, the main reinforcement should be provided only in one direction, in shorter direction. Main reinforcement in one direction only, in one direction, and this direction should be the shorter direction. Shorter direction. A main reinforcement considering this is the shorter span of the beam of the slab sorry and this is the longer span of the beam of the slab longer span so the main reinforcement should be provided only along this direction in case of the one-way slab right in case of the one-way slab we will provide only the reinforcement the main reinforcement only in the, in the shorter direction while the uh, temperature enforcement or the shrinkage enforcement we provide always uh, there in the slab and it should be provided along the longer direction. This is in the case of the one-way slab. And in case of the two-way slab, in case of the two-way slab, uh, there is some difference between their main reinforcement. The main reinforcement should be provided in both the direction. And longer as well as in the shorter. The main reinforcement is provided main reinforcement in both direction and both direction the, this is a concern this is a slab of uh, this slab of uh, two way slab uh, the longer and shorter span is less than two so we provide the main reinforcement in the shorter direction as well as the longer direction but the ratio should be equal less than two so we can provide now the reinforcement, the main reinforcement in both the direction. While in case of this one, we provide the main reinforcement only in the shorter direction. This was the second uh, difference. And now the third difference is uh, about their load credit. The, in case of the one-way slab, the load is carried, 
the load is carried only in one direction. Load is carried along. Load is carried along one direction. Load is carried along one direction. This is the uh, one we slip. The one. This is the one we slip. So this is the short spin. And this is the longer spin. Longer spin. So the load is mostly carried by the shorter and the shorter direction. And the, in the case of the one we slip, this is the uh, this is the one of the main difference that uh, how we can characterize the uh, one we slip from the two we slip. And the one we slip, the load is carried in one direction along the one direction, and uh, the the longer direction also carries the load, but the load magnitude is less as uh, compared to the uh, shorter direction. So this was the, also the one of the difference between these two. While in case of the uh, two we slip, the load is carried equally. Uh, in both the direction, depending on the uh, ratio, road is carried almost equal, most equal in both the direction. In both the direction, shorter as well as the longer. The last one, the last difference between these two is about the moment. Uh, the same example here. I will show it by the same example that considering this is a slab and the one we slab is a shorter span the longer span so the last difference is about the moment the moment demand along the shorter direction are represented by MA and the moment demand at uh, the moment at the short at the longer direction are represented by MB so the moment at the La shorter direction is always more than the longer direction. MA is always greater than the MB. That's why we provide main reinforcement in one direction, and this is the shorter direction. That the moment demand in shorter direction is always greater than the longer direction, MB. How much MA has been proved that it's greater than the sh longer moment demand by 16 times of movement coming in the longer direction while in case of the in case of the two we slip the moment demand is almost equal moment is demand is same moment is same in both the direction depending on this ratio it, if there is a square slip so the moment is 100 percent exactly same moment coming in the longer as well as in the shorter direction while in case of the one we slip the moment along the shorter direction is always greater in the longer direction. That's why the load is mostly carried along one direction and the main reinforcement is provided in one direction. So this was all about the difference between one way and two way slab. Hope you find it uh, helpful and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates.